Hey everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to recover any type of lost files or lost data on a Mac. Um, there's a way you can do this pretty quickly and pretty easily um, using a special software. And what the software does is it scans the entire computer and it finds the files uh, that are missing. So I'm going to show you how to use that because there are some things you need to know as far as, as, far as using it, uh, different ways that you can use it um, to help find those files. So, and, and this works for even if you've uh, emptied your trash bin, for instance, or if you've um, just accidentally deleted a file, or you had a file loss that was maybe on a, um, a thumb drive or something like that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is there's a link below this video. Click that link, and that will take you um, to the page where you can actually download the software. So you can see on the screen now, I'm on that page. Um, the, the address is right up here, um, but the easiest way is just to click below the video. Um, once you do that, you're going to click the Start Download button and go ahead and install that. And uh, once you do, um, just go ahead and launch the software. And I'm going to pause this video right now and then bring up the software since I already have it downloaded. OK, once you've downloaded the software, and went ahead and installed it. This is what it'll look like once you once you launch it. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click the Recover Data button, and that'll take us to the different options. Now, there's different options for recovering the data. Um, there's one that's called it's Quick Recovery, um, which is actually the first method you're going to want to try to re restore a file. Um, deleted Recovery. It, it, that works also. It just takes a little bit longer when it's, when it's running. Um, the other one is formatted media, uh, lost file recovery, and search uh, lost and deleted volumes. Uh, but for right now, we're going we're gonna to focus on just the quick recovery piece. And what this will do is you can scan um, your entire drive and try to find these files that, that are missing. So really, it depends on if, if you want to, if you're trying to recover a bunch of files, you're, you're better off just doing a quick recovery scan on an entire drive. Um, if you're looking for a specific file or a specific type of files, so for instance, if you accidentally deleted a photo or if you deleted a folder that contained a bunch of different photos, um, you could go up to the options menu here and go to preferences. And in the preferences, uh, you have the option to do specific types of recoveries. So in this instance, if you're looking for a photo, you could just leave all these checked for, you know, if you want to just do all different types of uh, file extensions, or you can just, um, you know, uncheck the ones that you don't want, check the ones you want, and then you can uh, run the scan based on that. And the advantage to doing that, to s specifying a specific type of file type, so for instance, if you only need uh, photos recovered, or let's say JPEGs, then what you want to do is just, is just select uh, JPEG as the file type. And what that does, it just makes the scan quicker because the software does take some time to scan your computer. If you're scanning the entire hard drive, it's going to take a little bit of time. But the but the good thing is, um, you know, if you do the whole hard drive, it, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time, but you can go through and you can pick out a whole bunch of different files. So um, let's go ahead and and I'll show you how to do it. I'm just going we're just going to go ahead and do a full scan. And what we'll do. So again, quick recovery is the one you want to do. And again, there's other options, photo recovery up here, iPod recovery. So depending on the type of recovery you want to do. Uh, but in this tutorial, we're focusing specifically on um, files of any kind. So we're going to go ahead and do, a, we're going to do the quick recovery. And then you select the drive that you want to scan. So in this case, we're going to do the Macintosh hard drive. And then click the Next button down here in the lower right-hand corner. And now the scan is in process. So what it's going to do is it's going to scan the entire drive and try to find out whatever files that you have deleted, will um, it'll be looking for those for you. So I'm going to pause this video and wait for the scan to complete and then come back and show you how to restore them. Okay, now the scan is completed. So just click this OK button. And then it's going to, it's, these are all the, the folders and all the files that uh, that it was able to recover. Uh, this is a little confusing, so I like to use the, the file list option here. 
And what that does is it, it divides it into the type of, of um, files that you're looking for. So, you know, in this case, if we're looking again for photos, we would just highlight photos. And then over here on the right, um, it would have all the different uh, photo extension types. So if we wanted to find a uh, JPEG, then we just click on that, and it's going to give us a list of every single JPEG file that it found um, that had been deleted. And then this is sorted in uh, reverse order here. So you can sort it by, you know, by file name or reverse, just whichever, however you want to look for your files. So if you're looking for it by file name, then obviously that's the way you want to do it. So to restore a file, all you do is you just click on whichever file that you want to restore. And then you, on this bottom right, you just click on this recover button. Um, and then once you do that, um, it'll ask you where you want to, where you want to restore them to. Um, again, if you're working with a faulty drive or a faulty, um, you know, SD card or whatever the source is, you want to save it to a different location. I mean, you don't want to put it in the same place where you have the bad um, the issues. You know, if you have an, especially if you have an issue with the drive, uh, make sure you save it on a different drive. Um, otherwise, you can, you know, just uh, recover it and save it in a, in a specific folder and then put as many files in that folder as you want and then your files will be restored. So that's it uh, for this tutorial and uh, good luck.